friends, Marlene here with Uniquely Ella. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm nice to see you here. Uh, today I have a really quick, fun little video, like a show and tell. Real, hopefully it'll be like a fast video. Um, and this is going to be a little follow-up on my organ. Well, it's going to be one of my organizational videos. This is like a little follow-up on the vintage little traveling suitcase video that I did. I'm going to link that underneath in case you missed it. Um, this is an extension to that um, uh, that art bag, and it all depends. Well, I call it a traveling little art bags, but really it's just to travel to my backyard so I can just, you know, when I have some time, you know, my relaxing time, maybe lunch or whatever, that I can just go out there. I don't want to keep coming into my little studio area to pick up supplies. I just want to grab it and go. So these two little bags I keep really close to the little vintage suitcase in case I have more time. It all depends on how much time I have to spare. If I have more time to spare, I have more supplies here. So I grab these two. Usually I just grab this little vintage suitcase and this one, but anyway, um, let me show you what I have in them. Um, okay, let's start with the little one first. Actually, they're, the bags look like this. I used to sell these in my spa. Uh, it was part of a um, pedicure and manicure kit. So I had some left. And I was like, you know what? These are nice. I went ahead and I put a little felt on the bottom. It's got little feet. Um, in case I put it on a desk or someplace I don't want it to rub. There's two sides. I have a, quite a few of them. And, you know, storing other things. You know, making so I don't have to go out and buy more stuff. So what I did, um, these two, I, these are my art ones. The pink ones are my art one. And all I did was, this one doesn't, well, it does have a little tag. So I kind of write what it, um, and then I just have like a little charm. This is a pre-made charm I picked up at Michael's or something. And then the big one, the same thing. It has a little tag. And then I love this little charm that I picked up somewhere. This one's heavy. This one is heavier. It's probably have to put the paints and stuff on it. So they're a little bit waterproof, so I clean them up a little bit. If they get dirty, it's not a big deal. So let's get started. Let me show you how I store my mixed media, art journaling, Bible journaling supplies on the go. Let me take this away from the light. Okay, on this little one, they open really easy, and they do have, like I threw them away because I don't use that, but it comes with a little strap that you can carry it over your shoulder if you want. So on this one, and of course, you know, they come with a little mirror because, you know, it was for that. What do I have here? Here I have a little mat, another one, a little one of those glossy mats in case I want to make a little bit of a mess. Uh, this is probably stuff in progress. Uh, this is a little canvas material that I can, you know, cut strips and do like as a background or whatever. These are little <laughs> shavings from projects that I don't want to get rid of that I can use as a background. My husband workout book, he writes a lot in them, his little workout journaling things, so I keep those and I use them as backgrounds. A piece of vintage wallpaper, some gloves, maybe some stamps that I want to use, but I think I want to keep this aside because I might want to use that now. And then in here I have a little basket like this, full of stamps. Let me show you this little basket. Well, I think I have some around here. These are, I made these a few years back and they're really sturdy because the, yes, the gesso made it sturdy. And these were strawberry little baskets from the produce section. And I, I have quite a few of them. They're like throughout my space. And what I did is I gesso the whole thing to kind of seal it. And then I did some napkin transfer and I used some of my wacky I call them like the retro uh, stamps on them. I did a little texture paint. I don't know if you can see. See, I did some te texture um, texture with some stencils. And then I found some little uh, just sayings and little words and little sentiments that uh, I wanted to put on them. And I think these are kind of fun just to kind of look at. I figured if I have to store something, I uh, might as well store it where I like it. So... Yep, that's what I have here. And that's what's holding all my stamps. This one in pink is what's holding all my stamps. In here I have another, you cannot have enough glasses. And these are surgical tapes. 
that I can use for backgrounds. This is from the 3M company and this is a paper one which is really nice. So I can use it as backgrounds or do anything I want with them. Uh, Sorry, I have to keep my phone by because my husband's going to come for lunch any minute now. So anyway, um, here I keep my some of my background stamps that I really like. The, you know, the rubber stamps. Um, oh, I love this one. This is like a domino. I was searching for the stamp forever and I found it. It's like a little domino stamp. How cute is that? So I just have a lot of my, you know, my background stamps and things like that. Okay, on this next one, it's a little bit heavier, so I think I keep my paints in here. Um, it might be a little messy inside, but that's okay. Here I keep, I love this bag. I think my sister found this for me, and I love it. I keep pencils. I can hear it. More pencils. I'm going to do a little tour on my art carts, I call them, where I have some of my other pencils. These are my cheapo pencils. They're not like my, they can get dirty and they're not my real creamy ones. So I keep that in here. I have lots of things here for background and so that I don't have to come in here and just pick whatever I want. Things that I want to get rid of. This is a little lamp I did a while back from a cutout. And just kind of things that I want to I'm gonna get rid of or use somehow vellum stickers and all kinds of things. So I, I do know that I want to use this in my mixed media somehow somewhere. I have some things for texture. All my favorite stuff for textures I keep in here, and this is kind of dirty and stuff. But just like bubble wrap paper, I keep and just sponges. And just all kinds of things. Sometimes I may want to do little circles. I use this. And this is from a hair coloring uh, bottle. So I keep all kinds of stuff here for texture. I keep a little sample of my washi tapes that I like. Just a little something. And a lot of these are old. So I have to reinforce them. Put a little bit of glue in the back. But that's okay. Another one of those date stamps. I have a whole bunch of them. Another one of these. This I found, I think I found this online. I think it's so cool. It's a little, how does it open up? Let me see if I can open it up. It's like a little water bucket and it's made, look how cute. And it's like, you can just fold it back into shape somehow. I'm a little rough sometimes. And then you store it. I think I found this on Wish. I'm not sure. Some of my uh, homemade gesso, I keep it in this little bottle. I don't know what that is. I have, uh, this is some gesso store-bought, uh, matte medium, I think this is just water, again, more glasses, because, you know, you got to see if you're going to work, uh, glue, what do I have here, oh, this is, I'm going to do a tutorial on this, these things are awesome, I buy them by the gallon, I have tons of them, this is called Light Strokes. It's a Martha Stewart product, but it's wonderful, the techniques you can do with these. I've got to do a little tutorial on that. A uh, little spatula. This is where I put my paint. I think this is also Martha Stewart glitter. Uh, what do I have here? Oh, some of my uh, Punchinella for the text, the background. Uh, paint, glaze. This is awesome. This I mix with regular paint. This is regular glazing medium that you can get at the Home Depot, wherever. And you can pay a lot of money for like goldens. I do have some goldens because I love goldens. Or you can make your own. Uh, the glazing type of, you know, see-through um, paints from goldens are like the best. But I can make my own with this and I got to show you how to do that. It's cheap and it's really nice more paints just paints these are my um this is for my drippish um i make these myself uh what do i have back here another one so i got maybe some primary colors and then i have another card back here another 
which is not dirty, so I have not used it. And then in here I have another little bag. Oh, I have a little torpedo back out here, a little rag. Uh, here I have another little one. And here I keep a lot of my sprays, my smooches. Um, I have another little batch of these. Uh, I think some of my pink, some of my favorite, these are wildlife these. But I have doubles of like my favorite. Like my pink is my favorite, like aquas and stuff like that. So I have another little um, um, area for them. These I love and they still work. I put them under hot water sometimes and run a little, sometimes I do get a little stuck. And then just some basic, basic, just like little paints. Nothing much. I keep it in a bag because that way I can just take the whole bag out. Just a few of, uh, a lot of these I found on garage sales and stuff, but I've got just about every color in here. So if I want to do a little background or add a little texture or something, I can do it. I have everything I need in here. So sometimes you don't need like this whole elaborate stuff. You can divide your supplies and just keep, it could be like a simple little bag or something. I just like to make it where it's comfortable and pretty for me, but you can just keep it in a bag, a Ziploc bag or anything, and just have your little supplies on the go. Um, this I've even taken to my little TV area. Sometimes when I'm hanging out with my husband, I'll, I, I don't like to make a mess there, but I, sometimes I do. And like I said, I get it out of my system and I'm good to go. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, an extension of my on-the-go art supplies, okay? I'm working on some things. I'm working on my next journals I'm really excited about. So, and I'm going to do a couple tutorials on some things I kind of have in mind, but I want to see if they work out first. Okay, guys, have a blessed day. Bye.